Hey everybody, welcome back to T Roy Cooks. We appreciate you joining us once again. We're cooking out back. We're going to do some fajitas for you, but not ordinary fajitas. These are going to be Wagyu flank steak fajitas. Boy, I can't wait. My mouth's just watering thinking about it. Let me show you this flank steak. It's going to be great, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, folks, here we go. This is the box delivered straight to my door from Lil Bells of New York. And they do ship overnight, they ship fresh, never frozen. Let's open this box up. Let's see what we've got. All right, uh, got a little brochure here. Some little bells. This is what we're looking for right here. All right, see that? That's what you got. You got some uh, some packs of uh, you know ice here. This is actually still a block of ice. Helps keep your meat cold. Here we go. That's my prized possession right there. Little bells. American Wagyu, beef. That's what's for dinner, babe. Oh, look, we got another one down here too. Another little freezer pack. Yeah, this is this is still really cold, straight from Low Bells of New York to my front door. Check out that marbling. Isn't that fine? That's gonna be some good eating. Let's show you what we're gonna do with this. Be right back. All right, everybody, we're fixing to get started on the marinade. And just a word with this Wagyu. Personally, I want to taste the flavor of this fine specimen of a meat. Wagyu is already really, really tender. You don't really need to tenderize it. So I'm not going to leave it in this marinade for more than an hour and a half, two hours. Um, anything more than that, you know, it might make it mushy. I don't want to do that. I want to really taste the flavor of this Wagyu. So what I'm going to do, I've got this uh, Goya brand marinade. This is Moho, Moho Criollo. And uh, we're going to check this out. It's got a little garlic in here along with some other spices. If you don't have this or can't get this, just use lime juice. Just pure lime juice will work fine. Give us a good shake. And you know with marinades, you don't really need to have a measurement. You just kind of, you know, it's a marinade. Whatever is excess, you throw away later. So uh, I'm going to throw a little salt in there. I got some uh, kosher, you know, some kosher salt here going in. Fresh cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna salt and pepper it again before I put it on the grill, so I'm not going crazy with the salt and pepper right here, right now. One thing with fajitas, you want some cumin. I've got some ground cumin here going in. That's probably a tablespoon or so, just if, you, if you're measuring. All right, give this a good mix. And again, that uh, the Goya Moho, it had garlic in it, so I'm not putting garlic in here. Uh, you could also put some, uh, some ground onion in here if you want. I've even put tequila in there. It's really good with tequila. It's good stuff. So you give this a good mix. All right, and then we've got the uh, Lil Bell's American Wagyu Beef. I'm telling you, this is some fine eating right here, man. Good stuff. Let's check this out. I'm gonna cut it open real quick. Let me get a close up on this. Check this out. Y'all see all that marbling in there? This is Wagyu. Gotta love it, right? I was actually checking out the, uh, the flank steak in my local butcher today it doesn't even compare to the way this looks this is gonna be melting your mouth goodness right here we're just gonna put it in this uh, marinade here give it a good little flip make sure it gets all coated up I'm gonna cover it put it in the fridge for uh, like I said about an hour and a half two hours meet you back out here at the grill all right we're back and it's uh, done got dark on me now what we're going to do, i got a little bit of oil, that's canola oil and some butter. We're going to let that get hot and we're going to cook down our bell peppers, onions, and uh, that butter is going to give it a little bit of extra flavor. And that canola oil is going to keep that butter from burning over this hot fire. Yes, we are cooking over oak wood directly. I think that's the best way to do when you do some flank steak or some skirt steak or whatever you got you doing fajitas with. You need to cook it over some wood. All right, that just took a minute. I'm gonna throw in some onions. Got them all pre-sliced, most of them anyway. 
There we go. That lanyard, yeah, they're gonna cook later on. Got some green bell pepper. Got some red bell pepper. I'm gonna stir everything up, let it all get happy, let this cook down for about five minutes or so. Okay, so let's set the record straight. The difference between Kobe and Wagyu isn't much. All Kobe beef is Wagyu. Why? Because Wagyu is a breed of cattle. For this Wagyu beef to be called Kobe beef, it has to be produced in Japan in a certain little region, certain district, and under certain conditions. And therefore it's called Kobe. And it, on that 12 point system, it would rank, you know, the best stuff, 12. But uh, Wagyu is the breed of cattle that they use. So all Kobe is Wagyu, but not all Wagyu is Kobe. Because again, Wagyu is the breed of cattle. Just setting stuff straight here. I smell my veggies, we need to go check on them. We'll be right back. Oh, some of you may not know that I have this Yoder Wichita offset smoker, and that's what I am cooking on. See, I'm, I'm using the firebox over here. There's the full Wichita right there. So I'm just using the firebox portion right here, and that's what we're cooking on tonight. And these veggies are looking really good. It's been uh, probably about four minutes or so. I'm gonna let them go another minute or so. I'm gonna pull these babies off. They're looking really good. And uh, you may be asking, Troy, why didn't you why didn't you salt these? Well, that was some salted butter that I put in here. If you didn't use salted butter, use unsalted butter. Go ahead and throw you a little bit of salt in there, maybe a little pepper. But uh, that's why I didn't. There you go. We're fixing to pull these off. Fixing to throw that uh, flank steak on there, that wagyu flank. Oh, that's gonna be good stuff. Be right back. All right, gang. Let's do this uh, wagyu flank steak. There you go. Tell you what, it just sure does smell good. And it's been marinating for two hours. I'll just kind of drip, drip most of this off here if I can. We'll put it over here on this side, away from the heat. And you may be asking, why are you doing it away from the heat, T. Roy? Well, I'll tell you, Wagyu is really marbled. And if you put it over a really super hot heat, like you would a normal steak or something, you're gonna melt all that fat out of there. That's not gonna be good, because that fat adds flavor. And it's gonna be you know, a little tougher than it should be. So, what you wanna do is slow cook this. You know, reverse sear is, or no sear actually, is, is the way that I would prefer to do it. I've cooked this, um, not this particular Wagyu before, but I've cooked some Wagyu steaks before. Let me get up here where y'all can see me here. Look. So I've done some, uh, some Wagyu steaks before. And like Prime, they cook faster than your choice. And that's because of the, the fat content in it. So with this, I'm just going to cook it really slow. Not over direct heat. It's going to get that oak wood smoke on it. Which, you know, enhances the flavor a little bit. Plus the marinade a little bit. But, uh, man, you don't want to sear this at like 800 degrees on a, on a hot grill. Because that's just going to, that's going to melt all that good fat away. Anywho, let's check this out. We're going to let it go for, I don't know, four or five minutes per side. Off of direct heat. And we'll see where we're at. Be right back. All right, folks, I've made an executive decision here. Um, it's been on here for about four minutes. And you can see it's not much going on there. But my coals are kind of dwindling down, and I don't feel like putting new coals on there because it take a while for them to dwindle down again. So I'm just going to put this over here. Put that over some direct heat. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but we're going to do it. I'm going to watch it maintain it really close here. Maybe two or three minutes on this side. Flip it, do two or three minutes on the other side. And then pull it back over here, and then we're going to uh, cook it until it's done. So I'll show you back when I flip it. All right, folks, it's been approximately four minutes. Let's check on this. Tell you what, this is extremely tender. Oh yeah, that's what I'm looking like. That looks great right there. 
Alright, and you see how the grain's running this way? What you want to do is cut it at a bias. So you're going to cut across at a bias. But anyway, that's looking really good. And this is not super hot heat. Again, you don't want to put it over a really super hot heat. You just want to slowly, slowly brown this side, slowly brown the other side. Um, and I'm using fresh oak, like I said before. So uh, we're going to let this go a little bit. Maybe another four minutes or so. Be right back. All right, folks, there we go. We're fixing to pull this off. It's looking really, really good. And it smells fantastic. Check out the bottom side. This really does smell fabulous. I'm trying not to overcook it because um, it is Wagyu. So we're gonna pull this off. We're gonna wrap it loosely with some foil and uh, We'll slice it up here in a little bit. Be right back. All right, folks, we're back. Let's check this out. This looks really good. It smells wonderful. And again, you got the grain running this way. So we want to cut across it. And what you want to do is angle the slices. So you get you some nice quarter inch thick slices right here. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, you talk about some kind of fun. I can't get over the smell, man. You got that, that oak wood smell? Yeah, my dog's going nuts. Here, let's check out one of these. All right, folks, check this out. You talk about some juicy goodness. Yes. Pure heaven right there. Mm-hmm. Come on. A marinade. You can taste the lime and the garlic. It's got just enough salt, just enough pepper. This is excellent. Yeah. Wagyu has such a buttery flavor. It's an intense beef flavor. <sighs> Y'all gotta try this, seriously. All right, so I'm gonna make some tacos with this, some fajitas, and uh, show you a plate here. But uh, again, I appreciate Low Bells of New York for sending the beef to do this video with. I hope y'all go visit lowbells.com, order it yourself. Check out their other stuff that they have on, uh, you know, on the website. Go visit their store on Madison Avenue if you're in New York. Tango Joe. Um, anyway, we'll take some pictures. Hope you all enjoyed this. I appreciate you joining me. And uh, remember to tell all your friends, T-Boy cooks responsibly.